Good afternoon. For the past uh, 22 years, working with many partners, especially from the business community and non-for-profit universities, we've carried out our long vision of transfer transforming Chicago from a struggling Rust Belt city into one that has taken its place near the top of the list of cities that complete successfully in today's global economy. As we carry out our long-term strategy to create new jobs throughout Chicago and build a even more modern and, of course, diverse economy, we must continue to target uh, the emerging business sectors that will be the foundations of economic opportunity in the 21st century. And the fast-growing technology field will play a very, very critical role, even today, uh, in making Chicago the most competitive destination in the world for new business and new jobs. Uh, to continue building on our progress, today I'm announcing the creation of an advisory panel that will help us <coughs> look at what would take tr to transform the former Michael Reese Hospital site on the near south side into a new world-class technology park that will benefit our city and our region far into the future. The committee is still uh, in formation, but it will be chaired by Frank Clark, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Common ComEd. We also have Jess Arion, Chairman and CEO of Paragon Pharmaceutical, uh, Chris Gladwin, CEO of Clever Safe, Maureen O'Hara, President of Illinois Venture Capital Association, uh, Jim Ty James Tyree, President of Abbott Ventures, and Kirk Allen, President and CEO of Sloan Value and Sloan Water Technology. University President John Anderson, President of the Illinois Institute of Technology, uh, Paula Allen Mares, Chancellor, University of Illinois, Chicago, and Robert J. Zimmer, President of University of Chicago. Uh, and will be composed of highly respected local experts, both in the private sector, academic community, uh, some of which are here th uh, today. I've asked them to help us assess the market, provide innovative ideas that will help us guide the ultimate outcome of this initiative. They will advise us on the strategies for attracting the types of tech-based industries that will keep Chicago competitive for the future, including biotech, uh, telecom, and green technology. They will also advise us on the uh, accompanying efforts we need to have in place to continue driving new company formation emerging areas of technology. This is the last big parcel of land available on the near south side. It is almost unlimited potential, not only for creating a technology park unique in the Midwest, keeping our global momentum going on and supporting the technology industry, but also serving a catalyst for revitalization of Bronzeville in the near south side and the south side. As I said, when we acquire the land, the city will be able to guide the redevelopment of the property so that the tech park attracts not only housing, new jobs, and new retail for our residents. This site will offer a new generation of established and emerging technology or old technology companies. Every major company has technology. Every major company is looking for one thing, uh, uh, the creative class, the younger people. And uh, if you take all of them in the metropolitan area, uh, they need uh, uh, young people. And the young people are here in the city, and they continue to pour into the city. It will be a research and knowledge-based businesses, unique, vibrant location that is close to central business district, which is really important, robust uh, digital communication, in energy infrastructure, and yes, public transportation, and very, very close to downtown. Also, proximity to many Chicago top universities that are home to cutting-edge research, nation top students, all of which could be an asset to the park and will be basically future employees when you think of that. The Tech Park proposed bills and a range of initiatives we have taken to ensure technology sector remains a very cornerstone of long-term plan, economic growth, and job creation. Many people don't realize that Chicago has more than 275,000 high-tech employees, more than 24,000 employers. And last year, high-tech sectors contributed about $56 billion to the economy. Some of these employers are based in projects that the city helped to launch or, or, or fund. Uh, example, in 2000, the city invested $28 million in tech increment financing to help redevelop the building at 600 uh, West Chicago Avenue, which houses Groupon and other successful tech companies. This building is now at the capacity. At the Lakeside Technology Center, not far from the former Reese property, the city provided $4.5 million in support of a $1 million square foot data hub is that the nerve center for Chicago's commodity markets. That building is near maximum capacity. The Illinois Institute of Technology, the city contributed $13.4 million in TIF funding to help create a tech park on the campus designed to attract a broad spectrum of tech, fir tech firms, including bio, medical research, software, and manufacturing. 
The city helped facilitate the development of the Illinois Medical District is home to the University of Illinois at Chicago Tech Park. We're making sure that students in the Chicago public schools are trained in the latest technology. We recently launched at Chicago Career Tech, a groundbreaking program through which we are upgrading the skills of our local workforce by training laid off, formerly middle income workers from other sectors, the private sector, as well as the public, but new technology skills for the 21st century. And this has been a very, very valuable tool. We graduated, what, 150? We're on now 300, 300 uh, individuals. You should see, we, we see the letters from these people. It's amazing the accomplishments that uh, the Chicago Career Tech has made. We're also investing another $20 million in federal stimulus money. Philanthropic funds have uh, bring a wide range of new technology resources to underserved communities to teach lower income residents new technology skills. We established the Mayor's Committee on Technology Infrastructure, which is focus, focusing on citywide on how the city can continue to meet the space needs of the next generation of technology-based companies and entrepreneurs. That group is looking at locations all over the city. We'll suggest how we can create another success like the story at 600 West by thoughtfully planning for the infrastructure needs of, of our new and growing technology companies. As I said before, I'm going to be working hard to my last day in office to make the city move forward. Building a technology park in the near south side could have a huge impact on the economic future of Chicago and the quality of life of its residents. The momentum we already have is allowing the city tech startups to thrive, bring a new wave of talent and, and energy to the city, and also allow them to expand in a n different type of environment. Our, our, now our job is to take our encouragement and support innovation, entrepreneurship to the next level.